Hello, hello, hello. Time yes to roll. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you guys in advance. You already know what it is, my loves. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit, and get comfortable. Because we're about to make it do what it do, love. This is a love channel. All we talk about is regular old plain old love over here. We do pick up on divine connections, family, friends, and karmic energies at times. So please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It is general and timeless. Okay, if this doesn't resonate, I have over 2,000 videos on just this particular channel that you may be able to go and find something that resonates with you guys, okay? You check out my other channel, Purple Priestess. I have like a 1,000 videos over there, and you do not have to be a Pisces to go watch my Everything Pisces channel as well, okay, guys? So if you go over there, it's like 3,000 videos over there. I'm sure it's something over there that um, will resonate if this doesn't okay the links for all my channels are down below in the description box honeys okay so let's see what's going on here for my collector when it comes to their love lives okay so you're in separation right now time apart from your partner is on the horizon so you are in separation or about to be in separation depending on what's going on in your your connection here okay um you're separated from somebody who you have a lot of passion with it's a very passionate connection here spirit says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so i do feel like this person even though you guys are in separation they are thinking about you a lot um you you make this person's heart sing with joy and soul sing with joy you make this person happy but there may have been some type of religious factor that kept you guys from being together, okay? Maybe they're um, religious and you're spiritual here, right? Um, maybe their family is very religious and because you're spiritual, they think most spiritual people are dev devil worshipers or into the devil, which if, if they ever took the time to really look into it, they would know that we have a connection with God. Well, at least I do, okay? I can't speak for all the readers, but I do. Um, a very strong connection. God worked through me and with me all the time. My gifts come from him. Okay, and nobody else. So, um, this may be the same energy you're in. You're very spiritual. You have a connection with God um, and the Son. Okay, however you go about it, you know, the Father and the Son, maybe just the Father. I don't know what yours is, but whoever these other people are that are in the background, um, I feel like the religious factors has a lot to do why you and this person are not together at this time. Okay, it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So I do feel like, once again, your connection is being hindered or blocked because you are spiritual or you're on some type of religious, you have some type of religious upbringing. The way it's coming across to me is like you're spiritual, your person came up in a religious family or a religious culture here. Um, and... You know, tarot cards and psychics and even though a psychic is nothing but a prophet. <laughs> just It's just a word. It's a title. Um, it's all looked at as demonic or lower vibrational. You know, um, astrology and, you know, all that stuff is looked at to be lower. So they can be looking at you, you know, as if you're on the wrong path, even though. You know, you know you're not on the wrong path. Even though you know you have a connection with God here, okay? Tell me more. What, what's going on with this connection here? And the only thing that could possibly be, yeah, the only thing I was going to say that could possibly be standing in between you and your person is the fact that there's these religious factors. Because the chemistry is off the chain. Spirit says stay optimistic about your love life, though, okay? Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, I do feel like um, there is still a chance for you and this person. Um, they may get some type of enlightenment when it comes to spirituality or whatever this religious upbringing is. And um, I feel like it will change the situation between you and them. This is someone that you have a past life relationship with. You have known each other before. 
or um if it's not a past life relationship this is somebody from your past coming back if you don't want nobody from your past go ahead and click off now that means this read is not for you period okay yeah but this person is going to come back towards you so i do see reconciliation here this person is going to come back towards you spirit says to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so when they come back in be playful um and and keep an open mind okay your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations i feel like this is your person learn to keep an open mind because you are different from their usual type and their expectations and it can have to do with these religious factors here let's see what the hidden truth is here what's going on when it comes to your person collective energy when it comes to their love lives Somebody throwing out the trash, taking out the trash. They backing up, reversing. Your person could be backing up, reversing, coming back towards you. Not listening to the trash talk that people are seeing. Clarify separation. Hmm. Says, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So this person, while you guys have been separated, has learned some type of spiritual lesson. And that could be like some them coming back, backtracking, coming back towards you here. Clarify passion. They say just being near you is intoxicating. But their life is not together as it seems. Like I said, so they 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 may not be in the place where they need to be. So maybe they're living with somebody. Maybe they're living with this, this person that has an issue with the religion. Right? Um, maybe their money is not good at this time. There's something going on. They're not in a good place at this time. Their life, is, their life is not together, as together as it seems. But they do say you speak to them through music. So when music comes on, they hear you, they see you, they feel you. Yeah, it says you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Because whoever is in their family was pushing this issue about this religious factor, the religious upbringing, and your spiritual path. They didn't want to let you go. So there could have been a mama, a daddy, somebody in their, their immediate circle, someone they trusted, someone, you know, that may be helping take care of them or helping them through whatever life situation they're in. But they had to walk away from you because of the religious factors. You may read tarot. And they may feel like because you read tarot, you into magic, the hoodoo, voodoo. You may not be into no magic. You may not be into hoodoo or voodoo. These are these people making assumptions about you. Instead of taking the time to get to know you or find out where you're coming from before they judged you here. But they judged you, and then they got in your person's ear. And I feel like I said, the person said their life is not as together as it seems. These people could have been helping your person in some aspect of their life. And if they did not walk away from you or let you go, they may not have been able to have that help. I keep hearing roof over the head. Like, they may live with this person. A mama, a daddy, an auntie, cousin, brother, somebody, a friend. And they could have used that against this person here but spirit says stay optimistic clarify stay optimistic about your love life yeah they say they wish they could take their words back so whatever they said whatever was said about you um and this religious difference that you have they want to take it back if they lied to you they regret lying to you if they lied on you they regret lying on you Yeah, because they want you. So if they lied to you and told you they didn't want you, <laughs> they regret lying to you because they do want you. They do want you. And they said you guys will be together again. But at the time, they couldn't let you get too close to them because 
whoever they were dealing with had an issue with the religious factors. They say sometimes they stay awake thinking about you, though. And they're not trying to let this go. Yeah. It says, find out the truth, crush me. So they could have found out that this person was, was um, whatever their religious upbringing was, was not what they thought it was. Um, find out that you are not who these people were trying to say you were. Like I said, they could have been saying that you were doing magic, that you was in the hoodoo, voodoo, you know what I'm saying? D dark, demonic shit. And to come to find out you have nothing to do with that, and now they found out the truth, and it's crushing them. They walked away from you because of what somebody else said about your spirituality here. Someone religious was in their ear. But Spirit is saying stay optimistic. They're trying to stay optimistic. They want to take back what they said. They regret lying to you and telling you that they didn't want you when in actuality they did want you. They did want to be with you. Because just being near you was intoxicated. But they didn't have their life together. So they were dependent upon whoever these people were that was in their ear. But they're grateful for the spiritual lesson that they learned. But when they found out the truth, it crushed them. Now they're on their way back to you. Confirmation, ding dong. Now they're on their way back to you because they know the truth. And they said you guys will be together again. Do I pull this other deck in the, in the shadows? Okay, I'm going to pull a couple from this in the shadow deck. Hmm. See what we get. All right. They say they know they made a mistake. They're hoping that you can forgive them. Clarify separation. Collective energy. Love read. They say they never want to feel that way again. They don't never. They do not ever, ever, ever want to be in separation with you again. Once they get out of this separation, they do not want to separate ever again. Clarify passion, and they want to tell you that they're sorry. I told you, I'm sorry. They're sorry for lying to you. They're sorry for listening to these people when they knew the connection was so um, intense. Clarify religious factors. Hmm. It says your body language says so much. So I do feel like um, this person had been watching your body language. Um, they were paying attention to you. I feel like more so these people were paying attention to you. Looking, watching, trying to see what you have going on. And that's how the truth came out. Give me one more for religious factors. Yeah, it says, I focus on you instead of my pain. So now this person is focusing on you instead of the pain of not being with you. Stay optimistic. Oop. Hold on, I hit the floor, babies. Uh, it says, I've been here before with others. So maybe they were dealing with somebody else and in the past um, their family, friends, whoever they were dealing with dictated their connections and they've walked away from others. But in this situation with you, they can't walk away. They now see the truth about these people and about your connection. Look, leaving you hurt me too. Leaving you hurt them too. They didn't want to walk away. And they say they've been struggling. And they realize that they really didn't know you. I don't really know you. See, they listen to these people instead of really taking the time to get to know you. And now the truth is out. They say they couldn't tell you face to face. That the reason why they were walking away from you was because of your spirituality. They say they don't know how to let you go. They're not trying to let you go here. They had a hard time telling you face to face that how they felt about you as well. So they lied. And they listened to these people and they moved forward.
We'll just read four or about. And I do need it to check. We'll just read four or about Capricorn. We'll just read four or about Aries. Libra has came out in every read I've done today. Libra. Um, both channels so far. So you may want to go check out Purple Priestess too. If you're dealing with a Libra. Leo. Virgo. Aquarius. Aquarius too. And a lot of air. This one. Taurus. And Gemini. Bottom of the deck, Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aries, Libra, Leo, Virgo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Gemini. If this resonates with you guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my TT babies.